Hello everybody and welcome back to SRL T4 Racing today from China and joining me in Cocoms is wonderful Joy Royal Joe, are you there? Yes, I am. Wonderful. My thing. Oh my gosh, are they all going out at the same time? I think they are. Oh my word. We've only got two people on mediums at the moment. Got Argo and Jardin. Just. Adjusting the audio a bit. And there are massive bunch up at the end of the first sector. About six cars. Well, eight cars for sector two at the moment. Clearly wanting to get early laps in. The leader of all of them is Hiko. It's gonna be interesting to see uh, how they master the track. We have some uh, reserve drivers in today. Let's have a quick look who they are. Nelly in the Alpha Tari and Spaceman on the Racing Point. In today, the first driver coming on to their lap now. Nico. Not the best exit, out of the N16. Start as lap. Oh, somebody more. It. It's Charlie, who was uh, <laughs> wide, I think. On the medium as well, if he's done that. He's going nice and clean through the first few corners. Stop. Mercedes and Prime and Garth is very close behind him. Interesting tactic is Prime and Garth is wide. Probably has an invalid lap now. Not sure if the game will invalid at that corner. I don't imagine it. But you know the game works sometimes in weird ways. Yep. So we go very careful with the sector, being the only person to set one. Very nearly lost it and got a 10 10. Yeah, what do you think? Uh, who is gonna uh, be closer to today? I think from last week, I think if you know, the Shadow can hook up a good lap, I think it'll be the same him and Vico. Position today. Realistically, Vico will want to make up for the disappointment of being on pole from last week and not getting any results. Q1 on 30.7. So Ari is now on his uh, fast lap with Vico on pole for now. Vico on pole by a big margin as well. About eight tenths of a second on the first run. Right, There's no shadow stop. Slotting just behind Tom H. Okay, Ari went fast in the first sector. Jardy. And fastest in the second. The Jardy doing a 33.5. On medium tire. Don't think that's going to be enough to start in the top ten. And Ari's lucky he has uh, a toe on the long straight now, so getting a few tenths there. Mm 
So I really thought we were getting held off through 10, 14, and 15. And invalid. And or is it? No, it doesn't yeah. invalidate actually. It's enough for P2. It's the thing, if you are clever, and depending on where you rejoin the circuit at that final corner, can avoid track on the penalties. And it all depends on how much. It all depends on if the game thinks you lose time. It's got Argo spinning on the medium. Right in front of Rui Gustavo. You got a turn four. It's gonna ruin those medium tires. Chaudi is going for another lap on his medium tire, as it looks. I don't think oh, he no, is. It's it's RS is full lap. The DRS is full. So I don't think he is. Yeah, he's not. Back he just no, he's going. Him. He is going for another lap though. Oh, interesting. Right, currently second in the championship. Nice and cautious. Decent exit. What's his first set there? 24-5 goes very deep into 10-6. Might have just threw the lap away. Taking it very cautiously. Jarvi as well. Seven temps down. In the middle sector. He's still gonna carry on with his lap though. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't he? P11. Nothing to lose. Especially on those mediums. Yeah, it's significantly Vico as well. Only person oh. who's got into. Nelly! Just went fastest in the first sector, the reserve driver for Alpha Tauri. See if that is legit. Well, the game said so. It's the 23 8, so I think that would be. Yeah, that is. That's faster than what I'm doing, and I'm a tier 2 driver. That makes me a bit <laughs> concerned. It's faster than what I can do, as he goes fearful in the middle as well. With a very tidy lap. I'm sure he gets in 13 correct. Oh. So just the grass slightly. Yeah, let's maybe go to the left. 10 for something. Not gonna help his straight line speed. He took the braking zone, yes he can. Really nice and tidy through there. Gonna be a low 30s, doesn't run wide. Doesn't keep a short to the line with a 30 point Your full three. position. And what a margin compared to Vico. Positional pole by... Vico and Ari are on their outlaps right now. Only four tenths after Nelly. Baseman left the session, uh, actually retired from it. I'll park his car, the yellow flags for a pass, and it's just. Yeah, then, that's his car. Nargo stopping on track, but just to get out the way? Yeah, I think he's just getting out the way. Interesting way to get out the way. He's now on the soft tire as well. Jeff Jardy is in the pits with eight minutes to go. Only set a time on the medium. I think, I think that he is staying in the pits, not wanting to go out and start in the top ten, knowing he will pass. 
Oh, and I'm lagging out. Very nice. Oh, my God. We can start from, we can start from this lap. We're only down in P14. 3.3 seconds off pole. China definitely proving to be not the driver favourite circuit. Uh, it goes straight into the pits. The rugby two tenths up for sector one. Twenty four one. And yellow flags. There's a red ball in the middle sector. Or he goes of the way. fastest in the second sector. Rigby on a very nice and tidy lap so far. Careful middle sector, five tenths up on his time. Nowhere near enough to put him even in the top of eight at the moment. Right, are you well. Still on those mediums. But stays foot. Here is Ruby through the final corner. It's gotta be a big improvement. Ruby goes into nine. Oh, nine. Oh, nine. Over a second and a half improvement. Oh, he did well. It's actually a pretty good lap. Big difference between most drivers. The top three very much in a league of their own. Absolutely. And it's about as the pathway has now got within a second of the fastest time. Doing a thirty one that's a very good lap of the pathway a thirty one one. Is Jarvie on his lap on the mediums? Yes, he is. Really going for the first sector. Oh, but look at the margin between Vico and Ari. That's so close. 300. I think whole whole finish race last week was by six milliseconds. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if that was a tier one race actually. Either way. Military My Shadow just margins. went into fourth place. Pretty good lap. Jardy is three temps up on his time on the mediums as he comes to the end of the middle sector. Be very much Jardy, I think, wanting to put himself near Ari Gustavo after losing the championship lead last week. And he's the only one who's out on the mediums. On the medium. Medium is definitely the better race tire for the softs. Yeah. In the final corner. Doesn't run wide. It's gonna improve a bit. Yeah, in T11. And it's all. It's P11. And to be fair, I think P11 is the position realistically where I want to be starting. Especially on the medium. On the medium as well. And he is nine tenths off row and from ten. So yeah, the thing is, gonna... they're already three laps old. I mean, it's not that big of a problem. But if he stays still... there, if he stays there. He can start on fresh mediums. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, I don't see. Chard be getting any higher unless he goes on the soft compound tires, because those mediums are definitely not going to find another nine tenths. Might need a corner cut there, Chardy. You want to be higher? It even might be for the best if he just uh, calls it. Still big gaps between drivers. Not a lot of people. Connor is tired. Around the second half. No, Connor's not in the house. 
Connor is in the Williams. Williams, yeah, just uh, retired from the session. So we have the three to Starvo going off earlier. His final run. It's fourth time to displace Nelly. Tom now through the last corner. Stays sixth. Nelly and Vico still only done one lap between them. So far we have had one, two. We've had five invalidated laps so far. Definitely not as many as Mexico. Don't particularly think penalties will be a problem today. Really start needs just over four tenths if he wants to challenge Nelly if he won. Yeah, he needs to find uh, some pace somewhere on the track. I don't know what Nelly did. But he certainly did good. Really good start from the championship league there. Can he put himself in pole or even the front row? Until through turn one on the downshifts. Decent oh. exit. Sefer going to be going to be a careful to 23-7. Oh, Mercedes is into them. Oh, they might be holding them off. In the middle sector. Doesn't run wide, gets a bit of a throw off line from Garthus. He's lost a lot of time in that middle sector. He's now only just a bounce up on his time. Here Gustavo. Through 10, 13. A lot of understeer through there. Uh, pushed him a bit wide. Good start to the lap of Riga Gustavo. Doesn't look like it's going to be an amazing end to it though. Yeah, that Mercedes enough? certainly didn't help. Will it be enough to just slot Pico from that front row? Around the final corner. He, he improved into second. And a careful final Ooh. sector. But by a middle sector. Let's see, he was a tenth up on Nelly through the first. Through the middle sector, three tenths he lost. And they match each other in the final sector. Simon Garthus in the Mercedes very much off for Ray Gustavo and might have just cost him pole position. Roe just improved into sixth place and today he's he is on pad. Oh yeah, he's on the same pads today. The snapping his brake pedal. <laughs> Great effort within a second of pole position. Very large field spread of over three and a half seconds. I think only four people have managed to get only four people into the one thirties. And only Jardy only Jardy took the gamble with the medium. We'll start P12. Yeah, I think Vico. Vico was a tenth up on his lap, oh, but I think P13. he's been in the gravel. Vico has been in the gravel. At 10.13. It's not good for him at all. And he needs to be beating a Riga Starvo to get somewhat close, back close to him. Him in the standings, he's going to remain P3.
don't believe we have anyone else on the lap. I'm just waiting for the start to be wheeled back into the garage. So, uh, somebody in the chat, LT Rocker, wrote that TRV will win the race. Do you think that he has a chance to win today? I think Jardy is in the position where if he can get past those two in front of him, his teammate Vyman Gartas and Ellis, well, he's, he's very certainly, much in the position. Certainly he has the race pace, definitely. It all Passions. depends on which... There's people in the top 10, they can do soft to hard. Which depends on if they get those softs to go long enough. But I do think that starting inside the top 10 around China is not the place to be. So Nelly has Death. used only one set of softs. And Paul with one lap. Supreme confidence for a reserve driver as well. Yeah, Ulti Rocker said as well that he's uh, that Nelly is just a couple of times off and he is racing tier one. Well, Nelly's time is only a tenth of my personal best. Oh, I'm tier two. Nelly just wrote in the chat that he used two sets of softs. Well, there's still another Must. set left. He probably went out and just came straight back in. Yeah. I did check on the race director, he must not have completed the lap on those set on that set of tires. Because it didn't come up on the race director. Yeah, I don't imagine seeing one outside starting on the span tire. Unless they think there will be an early safety car and they want to make up positions. Very interesting to see what the top ten do. And I'm glitching out again. What the hell is happening? And just lost connection. Um, be back in a bit. We are back. Oh. oh, someone's spinning on the straight row and the pathway. I've just made contact down the back straight on the formation lap, and row was a full 360 degrees from that. That was a very entertaining spin. Odd spin as well. It's been like that on the formation lap. All right now, all technical difficulties aside, we are back. We got so we got road to Pakway and Spaceman. 
all disqualified from the formation lap. Yeah, just... So, Rowan to Pacway being near the front, they're going to be on very cold tyres. Tough luck, I guess. I think it was that the Pacway slowed and Rowan had nowhere to go. Alright, the lights are going up. And we are off. Nelly gets away decently. Good start. Vico goes challenged by Ari. He's going very, very wide. And there's a lot of military shadow in the Alpha Tauri. To get through is the spinner. Wide of the Alpha. Halfway on those cold tires. Row? Well, row as well. Yeah, the two on cold tires are both spun. Oh my Zico word. Zico and Shatter making contact, 20 10 6. And very close. Zico holds on to P3. Oh, he's cutting the corner. More yellow flags. There's Argo and the Ninja have made contact at 10 6. Also, just noticed Jardy started 13th and he actually picked the soft tyre to start the race on and he's already up into P8. Whoa. Very bold strategy from Jardy. Did Riga Stavo staying in the slipstream of Nelly? I don't know, does Vico have some damage at his, at his front wing? Doesn't look like no. No, Vico has no damage. I don't think. I don't think many people have any damage. Actually, I think it was just yeah. more of a lag tap spin for most people. <laughs> yeah. More yellow flags. He's got space man has spun a ten ten. So my time in pages is glitched. Yeah, like every second lap. Just... Yeah, still now the MP1 ahead of Marie Gustavo. Keeping that gap below a second. So the timing page is still blacked uh, out for now. It's just a stopper. Fixed itself now, so it's yeah. Nelly, Eric Gustavo, Vico, Military Shadow, Tom H, Mr. Silence, Jardy, Happy Connor, Zico, and Byron Garces are the top 10. Jardy, six places up. Byron Garces will be side by side for the middle set there. Byron Garces is mm. very wide. Somebody's very slow in sector 3. Who's that space man? Yeah, it's space Fascinate. one, I'm not sure. Yeah. Something's up. very slow. I'm not sure if he has damage or his tires are Oh, and he spins around. Whoa. I think his tires are cooked. Well, they're warm now. He's his back tires. Is he gonna get in the way of the leaders? Stays out the way to be fair to him. Yeah, but... It's yellow flag, so you're not allowed to overtake. Stop. And Tom H and Tom. Mr. Silence, though, are still going side by side, still stopping those two down the pit street. Tom Brown on the outside. Going to the inside now. Nice little cutback. Now has the inside, thinks that the outside, still side by side. Oh, great racing. Great battle between those two. And Tom <laughs> just can't get the traction. Yeah, but also really good defending by Military Shadow. You know, to make contact there. After this race win, I'm very much not giving up back T4 easily. And Spaceman just retired the session. The DRS now enabled. Big Gustavo. Still in Nelly's DRS. Pico, however, might be allowed to, might be about to lose that DRS. And he's going to lose it, I think, by a millisecond. Yeah, let's see. Not sure if he got it, because it's swapped, it's swapped to eight tenths. And he does get it. Yeah, but yes. On board with Riga Starbo. He will have DRS, but he's right Nelly, behind. Nelly not defending it, not in overtake at all. 
gonna challenge, yeah, maybe just gonna challenge it on the brakes. Preserving tires a bit. The Alpha Tower. Are he goes into the lead. So nearly running into the back of him, did nearly into the final corner. He's gonna try and come back into DRS, proving very powerful. So far, so the yellow flags for. Oh, oh, now we have a three-way fight contact. for the lead. Vico now right behind Nelly. Three-way scrap for the win today. Nelly no, not, not going for the inside. Here we can get the penalty. Getting in the pit lane. Highest place medium runner at the moment is Tinkill. How and he is already twelve seconds off the lead. Oh Ari went really wide. So that on my mini map he went that wide. Maintained uh, to stay ahead of Nelly. Nelly Nelly running on more than eighty percent battery at the moment, so really start for just like in qualifying, getting under steer for turn 13. How much is now, he, Ari's gonna just fully defend it? Vico has no ERS behind them. Now he rounds it outside of oh, turn 14. Good move. That's a super move from Nelly. Around the outside of turn 14. Is Riga Salva going to try and come a DRS down the pit straight? Ridiculous. It's very powerful. You have Ellis, I think. No, Rigby. Rigby and Rowe already at the end of lap four getting Going rid the of the soft yeah. compound tyre. Ari now losing a bit of time. I don't know if he struggled a bit with the traction out of turn three. Luke Squid, this is also into the pits. Or I believe a front wing change. Yeah, he's getting a front wing change. As Rowan Rigby are out of 15th and 16th on the medium, so they are committing to a two stop. And Nuf going, the only one going for a hard tire. This was on the medium anyway, so I'm not surprised that he's going for that. Ellis and Vyman Gartis getting close to the middle sector. Riga Stavo has completely dropped off Nelly at the yeah. front. Tom now right he's behind. The little two shadow. He's on his, his front right. You can see the blister. Soft on the counter the is. They are finished. Those softs. Said this, those Cut people back. started on the medium. There, Riga really Stavo and into pits is not followed in by Vico. It is followed in, however, by Military Shadow and Mr. Silence. And the Connor also comes in. Takway yeah. is also. Making his first of what I imagine to be two pit stops. They all put mediums on. Charlie staying out too. Charlie is on the fresh stops, however. Yeah, all the guys the on the mediums well. are now. You need to watch out for Charlie later on because I've just forced yeah. this. He didn't use any soft compound tyres in qualifying. He used, he used one set, I believe, so he's definitely he's still got one fresh set. So you think like a two stop strategy going maybe soft soft I th medium or soft I medium soft? Either way, I think Jard is going to make a, take advantage of those softs that he saved. He's now up into P4 as with yellow flags for a half so he's made a spin. Yeah, I think it's uh, Argo who's Argo. spun around. On those mediums. Yeah, and Military Shadow on the new softs, hunting down Bad Door, who's on the medium compound. As well, the pathway is the only Going person Going to the inside. <laughs> Whoa, what a move from... 
quite a far way out. As Argo has decided to retire, he has not retired in the pit lane. So Vico is in, Nelly is carried on. And oh, um, Tom, Tom has made a mistake. God, just... Both Alphas have came in on the same lap. Oh no! And, they're all, and they are right behind each other, Tom has just threw away. He is going to get held. Oh yeah, lost quite some time down. That's where always got a time penalty for corner fifteen. As new Squithers has also spun at ten twelve. I mean, Nelly, Nelly carrying up. I think Nelly's going for the hards. But his tyres are compared to Riga Starpo's tyres two laps ago. The blister on that front right. Basically non-existent for Nelly at the moment. He's nine tenths off the of PB. Uh, we also have, uh, military Shadow has just got past Lyman and Gartis into 10-6. Yeah, Military Shadow is right, flying right now on this uh, on his soft tires. And Tom, if we just bomb back to Vico is eight seconds. He was only two behind him. Thomas lost six seconds of fitting on the same lap as Nico. I repassed his teammate who uh, yeah, saw that coming and made room for that. And two Williams and Rowe very close to each other on track. Bad door just retired the session. And we have VSC out. Yeah, she'll say, and as Nelly is going to comes the, into the into pits, pits. And is Charlie going to pit as well? Yes, he is. And this those is two. Pure luck. Going for the hard. And it is the hards for Nelly. Is it the hard for Jardy? It has to be right now. It is. He's changing his front wing as well, Jardy. He's taking a very fantastic opportunity as Team Kill also comes in to get rid of the mediums. With the hard. No, he gets the soft compound tire. Does Team Kill. Bold choice. But all of a sudden, Nelly has kept the has the three lap undercut or the two lap undercut that Arriga Savo got. Superb timing. As Team, Hill, as Team Hill also gets a drive for it for speeding under the virtual safety car. But all of that time that Arriga Savo gained has just been thrown away by that virtual safety car. And from what I can see now, Nelly has a very Easy run to the flag now. If he keeps it together. If he keeps it together, he's got a pit stop. His closest challenger doesn't have to pit again is Vico. Who is... 6 seconds behind him as Roe picks up. I think that is her second penalty. Yes, yes. it is. As I could five people have drive throughs Tom Page, Rigby, Havacona, Jardy, and Tinko all have drive through penalties. And the big group, if you look, coming down the back straight. Oh, yeah. All of oh, them yeah. bar row has a, all of them bar row have a drive penalty uh, as have a drive through. So I think they got as Milton Shadows got past Ellis down the pit straight. Ari Gustavo passed Nelly. Different tyre compound, and Ari <laughs> Gustavo has significantly less battery, and to be fair to Nelly, there's no point fighting Ari Gustavo. Yeah, he just this stage. Ne needs to wait. To save those tyres. Until Ari's tyres drop off. Drop off. What, 24 second pit lane? There's a thing, some people came in to save the drive through yes, Rigby has saved his drive through so has Tom H. Connor, Jardy and Team Kill still have to save theirs. Nelly has also managed to keep the DRS for this lap. Vito now right behind Ellis. Going onto the long straight now. 
Alice's right beside him. Just not this. And I've met your safety guard. You could pass Alice now into fourth. Steel Plinger is off the track. Silence. Cutting wide and losing the position again. His rugby, I think, has hit DNF after his drive through. Military, sh military Shadow. I think Military Shadow is on the soft compound tyre. Yeah, Military Shadow is on the soft compound tyre. But he is. Will he let it. Will Nelly let his teammate go? He says to Nelly, he's keeping the DRS from Ariga Starvo on the harbour compound attire. So he's doing himself a massive bonus at the moment. Like I said, Miljus Shadow is just behind them on the softs. Got Mr. Science and Ryman Gartis for 10 7. Sounds good. Mr. Silence passed him. Don't think Van Gaas is pissed. Get rid of those mediums to be started the race on. No, he has not. Neither has Ellis. Soft tire, I, think. I think it is only Ellis with Van Gaas. Oh, yeah. Rigby just wrote that his controller is um, busted. And so he retired the session. I was wondering why up the pits he was going so slow. Through the long right hander, there was no throttle through the right hander. Team kill now behind Chardy. Team kill on the soft compound. These two have both saved drive throughs as well. Not been Chardy's day. Not really. So the Havoc Connor still has to save his drive through penalty. I think he has to save it this lap. Yeah, he is serving at this lap. Make sure not to do a hammer for them to the pit lane. Yeah, Nelly's still doing a good job. Keeping this. Holding uh, up the RS. Just gonna... over a second now. Yeah, Rose's gonna be the next one to pass Violent Gatches. Basically, goal hanging for a safety car at this stage. Don't understand why they didn't pit into that major safety car. The hards can definitely go the distance, as Ariga Starvo on this lap has very much put a big distance between him and Nelly. I'm not sure if Nelly has made a mistake. Oh, Riga Starvo just very much on this lap. Extended the gap, but he gained the battery to do it. Now, road now he's got to build that gap as much as he can before his pit stop. Farming gorgeous. Farming Garth is not putting up much defence. Yeah, well, uh, something I just saw in the last races, he doesn't have that race pace necessarily every time. And you saw that in qualifying, uh, his teammate Chari was uh, through, through a whole session faster on the medium tie than he was on the soft. Small scrap between Team Kill and Cabot Connor for P12. Quite able to make a move. Oh, it's Military Shadow who lost the car a bit and went wide. Damage on his. I don't feet. think so. I don't think he does. No, he does not. But that is going to ruin those soft compound tires and Vico all of a sudden. Let's when Vico doesn't have to pit again. Another problem for Ariga Tavo. If he wants to win this race, he 
has to probably, when he comes out the pits, he's probably going to have to overtake Nico as well. And Milch and Shadow goes into the pits. Promoting the P3. Now you again hunting down Ari. Connor has been DRS of anyone. He's been DRS of team. Go down the back straight. Not going through me with Bobby McLaren. He's on the soft tyre as team here. Well, but a bit over the out of the corner. Connor's final corner. It's so difficult to follow through that final corner. Only three people have picked up penalties so far. Roe being one of those three, and he has picked up two as well. I know he's on a pad. Considering that everyone else doesn't have none and he has two. I don't think we're going to happen to himself about that. Bill Churchado, after his uh, pit stop, is now on the mediums. And he's just, just past the pathway. parkour. Yeah. Mr. Silence now. Just over a second behind Ellis. And the couple, uh, last couple of races, the Red Bulls are picking up points in Tier 4, which they haven't before. We're still running, running a net P5 at the moment. Still got Ellis to fifth. Goes now. Yeah, Rolf's gonna pass him two now. Into neutral for the pit lane entry from Ellis. Onto the hards. Through the end. As we've got Connor is getting past Team Kill on the back straight. I think Team Kill Softs have finally given up. But also, Vyman Garth is, is in. Vyman Garth has got to like some mediums. Sector 1. Simon Garthas has gone from mediums to mediums and changed the front wing. He has to stop again. I'm sure that wasn't Simon Garthas' intention. I think he hired the Ferrari uh, strategy team for this race. The game's default, strat game's default strategy, no matter what, it selects a two stop. Around the circuit, and obviously you had the mediums to start off with, and it gives you the softer tire at the end. So no wonder it's put him back on the medium, and he hasn't realised it. He's gonna make one more pit stop still. Quite still get disqualified. So that's his points chances very much out the window. Any. No one within anyone's DRS at this stage. Very spread out. Just like they were in Mexico. Let's see how many positions people have made so far. The biggest gainer at the moment is Mr. Silence. Started eighth and is now fourth. Yeah, so I was talking about the Red Bulls, who are now, I think, in 7th position in Championship. Currently P4 and 5, however, Military Shadow has fresh medium compound. They do start the pit again. Military Shadow has already made his second pit stop in the Alpha Tauri, and is only just outside the window to beat row off penalties. So yeah, they picked up 
a good amount of points in the last races. See, we got out of the slump they had going in the beginning of the season. And Ro now uh, gaining on Mr. Silence. Just having all her warnings. The Ariga Starva was on one, which she obtained on lap one. Nelly is on none. Vico. Vico has two warnings from lap one and one from lap four, so I imagine he's made contact with someone on the first lap. So he might be on two warnings. Mr. Sands is on one. Row is. Row let pass by going Mr. Silence. Past, yeah. Red Bull team orders coming to the forefront. Do you think somebody called a multi 21? Yep, very much there. And Mr. Stans obeying the order. Yeah, Row is. Row is on seven penalty warnings at the moment. He got three warnings on lap. He got two track limit warnings, I think. On... Yeah, he must have got a penalty on lap one, I think. I think he did. Because he. Unless. He must have made contact with someone. I wish you would say when you made a collision. Military Shadow is also on two warnings. Chowdy, uh, hunting down Alice for P9. Alice on New Heart. Chowdy already on seven lap old Heart. No ERS, Chowdy, as well. The significant thing about this circuit, I don't particularly think this track is good for ERS harvesting. Not really. There's only two heavy braking zones as we have Rowers and Fitz. His second stop. And what tyres is he going to put on? Will the mediums or the softs? It's going to be in the middle of the medium tyres. The well, softs would be bold choice, so uh, I guess for the mediums. He's going to come out. Right. In front of Charlie, oh, right beside Alice. Alice, Alice around the outside. His Roman Garth has got 10 second penalty for plotting 10 14. Um, Alice rolls the side row. No point fighting yeah. those fresh but This helps Charlie, he's now only a second behind Alice. The Riga Starfo's gap has now decreased to Nelly. Oh, I think his mediums are beginning to go off. Was... And he is coming in. Nelly. Yeah, the Riga Starfo's gap has now decreased to spun on the hards and the McLaren. It's a Vico. Nelly has a huge lead. The Riga Starvo, how many seconds is he going to need to make up? 4, 16, 17, 12 18, laps, 19. 10 laps to gain tw around about 20 seconds. Charlie goes for the move on the I'm not going for the move on the inside. It's 2 seconds. Riga Starvo needs about 2 seconds a lap. He wants any chance. Catching Nelly. I don't think he has the pace. He'll probably catch Vico, but I think Nelly. He doesn't make a mistake. I think Nelly has this. And Charlie's being really held up by Alice now. Uh... Not good for Charlie. Oh, Mr. Silence went uh, for the second set of mediums too. Moments, Riga Starvo is going to extend his gap to Jardin to 17 points. His gap to Vico is going to be decreased to 14. So at the moment, Vico is going to retake second in the standings. 
and and even if Riga Staff overtakes it. Jardy down the inside, 10 13. They're still he's, side by side. He's, he has the DRS very now. conventional corner. He has the DRS. Going for the move on the inside. Got the overspeed. Giving us a nice old scrap. A bit for Ooh. the final two points, mm -hmm. faint positions. Jardy is a bit of contact. I think Alice locked up as well there, to be fair. We're all hunting down Tom into turn one. Going to the outside. Outside. Oh, Tom, very nearly. But Raw has the inside now. Mm. It's got so, the better oh, line as Tom. A this gives him a bit of a squeeze, but Raw does make that move. And now has to build six seconds to the Alfa Romeo. Next up for him is to pack where he was five seconds at the road. And then four and a half seconds up the road. Mr. Packway he picks himself up a penalty, so that will help Row in terms of his fight for P5. Yeah, Mr. Silent's gonna be the next one passing Tom. We will have DRS on the long straight. Going a bit wide there. Amiga Starvo is absolutely flying. Sets a new best lap time. In in two laps, Amiga Starvo has brought that gap down by eight seconds. To the leader. Oh, and Mr. Silence goes into the back of Tom right there. Damage. Ton of time. No, he doesn't have the. Not no damage. Yeah, Amiga Starvo is very much sending this. I think eight, eight seconds in two laps. That is ridiculous. so much faster on those fresh mediums to the worn hearts. Um, this is the thing. Passes Tom. We're gonna start with proving that... Very much proving that the two-stop can work around this track. Yeah, absolutely. He's only... You have to be close to who you're racing if you want it to work. It's not a track like Singapore where it's ridiculously powerful because of how long the pit lane is. Ono picks himself with a three second penalty. Yeah, but you he have to account here for the fastest lap. Really tight corner on the entry. This is silent, yeah. he's got past row before. Ooh, sorry, this sounds got past Tom page before the DRS song. On the back straight. It's an easy move by Riga Star Ari now. now with DRS and Zico. Within a second, whoa! This is going to be very close. If those mediums don't drop off, Ariga Savo could very well catch back up to Nelly. He's the championship leader for a reason. He's proving that with today's pace in the pace that he has right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. He's running you know, have a Connors in the pits. To make his second pit stop. Shame for all of those people as you can see the big difference of all those people who got to ride through penalties. Due to the Vercha safety car. Yeah, that destroyed the races too. He's destroyed the race. In terms of having a lot more people on the one so stop. Ari now has forward. DRS down the long back straight. DRS for Pico. Going to the inside and sticks the move. Slow. He's gonna Cuts slow the corner down. Those guys slow down though. Oh. And he Got might be low on fuel, Ari. Nelly, 
he's probably at the moment just saving his fuel, saving the battery. Just in case the Rigastavo gets in that DRX. The Rose, uh, 1.4 seconds behind the Paco already. Yes. He said the difference between the hards and the medium is massive. These drivers are proving it. But again, the two stop. Depending on how quick you are, the two stop can work. Gap 9.3 is coming down in chunks at the moment. I'm just going to look at the lap that Arriga Stavo set, his, set the fastest lap of the race. He did a 34 6 on lap 20. Nelly's lap 20 was a 35 4. It's about 8 tenths. Gap is 9.1. Six laps to go. Yeah, and Rose now right behind the pack room. Gonna have DRS on the back straight. I miss the silence right behind him. Maybe two. No, does not. But Ro, not going to move. Ro wants to beef the pack where he has to make it now. Those, pen those penalties are not going to help him. He's up for three seconds on the Renault. And picks up picks another up penalty. Another, he gets another penalty. That is, I think that's solidified that he's not going to be beating the pathway. And he's now got the problem, actually, bro, is that Tom H is within that nine seconds. Charlie, maybe two if he. Charlie, Charlie is not within not it. And I don't think Charlie will get within it because he's on all the hearts. I think Charlie's gonna have to settle for the position that he is in. Then are you not picking up not with that much? That early pace on those mediums. Yeah, I think it's not there, is it? Has he burned them out really too used... quick? Too much fuel and hunting down Vico. Now I roll. think he might have just took the best off of those tyres a bit too quick. I fear as well. Mi Military Shadow has drove the most lonely race. <laughs> He's been P4 with about 10 seconds out of the And the are going side by side. It's not the PRS. Row down the inside, puts the corner, it's gonna get another warning for that. And he lets the back way go after pushing the corner. Might have had an illegal overtake warning move. Ellis gets a three second time penalty, it's not going to affect Ellis' race at all. Yeah, but I'm going to be honest, I'd rather have a lonely race in P4 like Military Shadow than... Oh. Bro, around the outside of turn 6, he's and got he the goes pathway, past. he has! The pathway goes wide. So, chance for Mr. Silence to get in there. We've seen many, we've seen Red Bulls go round the, down the inside of that corner. In real life, F1, not around the outside. Yeah, Mr. Silence Silent is in there. He's going, going to, to the inside. Doesn't need to fight this, does Mr. Silence? Going to anyway. Look at how quickly Ro has got away. With 17 lap old hearts, the pathway has on. Yeah, uh, Mr. Silence now going. has to go to the outside. 
Okay, so the the silence. That's gonna help Ro again, as he now only needs to go three seconds over the pathway. And that's well uh, within the range he has, so... I'm not sure, but I think Jarthi is just beginning to get into a position where he could get Ro. On these penalties. Tom H is definitely going to get Ro at the moment. He's only about five and a half seconds. And yeah, there was quite a bit of time he's in this grab with the parkway. The upper is around about six seconds behind. And bro, Jardy is about 9.4 seconds behind. Doesn't he look Jardy? Then again, Ro has the fresh mediums in clear air. Are you now? Close to get within four seconds. Reduced significantly. Runs wise, I think that might be a warning. But he goes that was again, a warning. Fast as lap. That was a, that was a warning. It's on his last warning. Ferrari. Mr. Silent battling the parkway. Side by side. The DRS the is now. Open. The parkway has more DRS. Mr. Silent. Switch back. On the pathway, it's a nice switch back from the Renault. Mr. Silence has the inside line now. Into the last corner. Quite the traction. Oh, nearly spun around. Left a lot of room there, did the pathway, and I think Mr. Silence clouted that inside curb. Went into the side of the Renault. Again, all helping Row in building the, the gap. Doing, the pathway doing a super job on those. Hards that are very much probably finished at this point. Has penalties, is still fighting this. He's not just gonna give it up. And like to see stuff like that. Good fighting spirit, isn't it? Really good fighting spirit, especially when you have six seconds in penalties compared to none. When you know there's you're not gonna beat them. Still yeah, but you get the satisfaction on, uh, of beating them on the track. Yeah, I've, at the moment, actually, to be fair to the pathway, he is still ahead of Jardy. He would still be ahead of Jardy. He's only going to lose two positions. And I think Ro is going to lose two positions as well. Round three, guys. All right, Mr. Silence not going for the outside line. This this time, Easy. this time there's no chance of a switch yeah. back. Next and this time he gets a pin. Really good scrap between those two. Yellow, Yellow flex. flags and there's a McLaren. With new squid, there's some minimum mistake. Yeah. And again, Ariga Starva's gap, so Nelly hasn't came down. Four seconds, but he's not going to catch him in the last two the last laps. It's barely reduced. But the gap between Military Shadow and Nico is reduced more. Yeah. It did. Van and Gartis and Connor going close into the final corner. Fight for a wooden spoon, P11. Connor almost soft has got it. 20 seconds into Alice, so there's probably going to be no points for these two. Ring of Starfo, that gap is now 3 seconds. And Charlie, you know, nine. making up Final some time. Lap. Final lap though. And Nelly has and only one track limit warning. Nelly is well within sight of Ari, so... It's it's shallow shallow gets penalty. Penalty. Won't affect him in any way. and Garthus and Connor is going step by step again through the middle sector. 
in kind of might have been a mistake there. Roll Rogue picks up another twelve penalty. second. That is definitely going to allow. Ro is going to drop. Oh no! Ro is going to drop from P five to P nine. As well, he's decent the points. At least something. He has something. the excuse of the pad. He has the pad <laughs> excuse. Ooh, Gustavo, that gap is two seconds. I, Nelly Nelly's hard. Nelly's hard. I finished. One point four. One point. It's like yesterday from me from GP2 all over again with the tires. They are done. We got yellow flags. Van and Garters has made a mistake. I think. Ari's just eight two. tenths. It's Oh, Van Gogh has been disqualified, he did not pit yeah. again to get rid of those mediums, but Nelly... And Nelly wins the race. Debut. Barely. Seven tenths at the end. Twenty lap old hearts. Riga starts job. seven tenths with night. Vico is going to come home to finish fed. The military shadow is only 2.7 behind him. Goes up to 5.7 due to penalties. Those hards on the last lap for both Nelly and Vico. They were done. Very much went. And one more lap, I think, for Nelly. If he'd have pitted one lap earlier, Arriga Starman would have got him. Rob finishes the race provisionally on the fifth place. P5, drops Loses to six. To Mr. Sounds to seven. Parkway. No, Tom's going across the line now. P9, yeah. Ellis is probably going to Ellis close is out. Going to pick up yeah. Final points. And Connor and Team Kill, the only two people left to finish. On a hit low fuel mode on the line. Think, uh, yeah. I think overtook him there. It yeah, was an exciting 11. race. I think one more lap. Yeah. One more lap. And we could have um, had a very, very interesting yeah, fight. I... For that yep. win. Nelly in the chat, he writes that if you wouldn't have pitched twice for mediums, you would have won. Yeah, one more lap, and you would have. One more. Have the Riga Starver pitted one lap earlier? Give himself one extra lap on those fresh mediums. It's yeah, fair. Nevertheless, congrats on the win, Nelly. You drove probably. I'm going to sound very, very boring. But starting from pole, I'm still going to give Nelly that driver of the day because he yeah. won that race for himself. Great pace, and he kept the DRS from Ariga Starva for about three laps when he got past him. And realistically, that has won in the race. Not and losing the DRS. And maybe helped a bit with that pit stop. Different. He didn't lose too much time. Alternate strategies, but at the end of yeah. the day... It fell all into place for Nelly in this race. Nico also completing the one-stop. Inverting that P3, the top four finished how they started. As well, Jardy going from P13 to P7.